Good morning, Hoover Elementary. Dr. G here on Hawk TV, wishing you all a very happy Monday. Woo! It's Monday. It's Monday. It's a fun day. At this time, please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. At this time, please remain standing for a brief moment of silence. Thank you. You may be seated. Dun, dun, dun. I hope everybody had a fantastic weekend. Today is Monday. It's May, May already, May 3rd, and it's day one, day one, May 3rd, and we are so excited. This is the start of Teacher Appreciation Week. So just take a moment, boys and girls, stop what you're doing, look at your teacher, and say thank you for working so hard so that I can learn, even during this global pandemic. Go ahead, take a minute to do that. We appreciate you teachers, thank you so much. And in honor of Teacher Appreciation Week, we have several nominations this week, this month for staff members of the month. You wouldn't believe it, we've got 16 people who won. So brrr, our staff members of the month are Mr. Bursk does a great job on his art on a cart. Mrs. White, of course, doing a great job as our school nurse. Ms. Jackson doing a great job in fourth grade. Mrs. Ritter and Ms. Krobach, our secretaries, doing a great job, especially during this pandemic and especially helping me with all of our contact tracing. We also have nomination staff members of the month, Mr. McGee. Congratulations, Mr. McGee and Mrs. Salt, Ms. Vince, Ms. McGuire, Ms. Archer, Ms. Landolt, Ms. Hilleman. Mrs. Dashi, Mrs. Walter, Mrs. Bobrick, and Ms. Naglak. Congratulations to all of our winners. Keep up the great work. We're so proud of you, and we're so proud of all of our teachers and staff, like I said, especially this week, which is Teacher Appreciation Week. How are you going to show your teachers that you really appreciate them this week? Do you think it might help if you're respectful, if you're responsible, if you're safe, if you really care about your teachers and you want to keep everybody safe, you're probably going to wear your mask, right? Over the nose, nice and tight. If you really care about your teachers, you're going to stay six feet apart. And if you really care about your teachers and your classmates, you're going to stay home if you're thinking you're sick because we've got the wonderful world of Zoom and Canvas so that you can still keep on learning and getting all that great knowledge in your head from home or from anywhere around the world. We're Neshaminy International. All right. We've also got an exciting school spirit week coming up. So today, of course, is hat day. Dun, dun, dun. Hopefully you got a hat. If not, don't worry. You can participate in some of the other activities this week. Tomorrow, crazy hair day. I'm going to do something wild. Haven't figured it out yet. Then Wednesday, tropical shirt day. You might wear something you'd wear to the beach. And then dun, 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 superhero day. And remember, not all superheroes wear capes. Some superheroes are teachers. Some superheroes are doctors or nurses. So come as your favorite superhero. And then Friday, we'll end the week out on PJ Day. Have a great day, everybody. Dr. G, Hoover Elementary. Oh, hi, Mr. McAloon. Good to talk to you. Yes, I know it's May. We're, we're on track. We're going to uh, get ready for the online PSSA administration with our third and fourth graders. That's coming up, uh, yeah, in June. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, in the past, we used to do um, everything with paper and pencil. But now, thanks to Stark Industries, uh, we're going to be able to do everything online. Yeah, 
Yep. Um, we've set up some time for Jarvis to come and help uh, our third and fourth graders with the equation editor and everything. No, we should be fine. That kids should know how to highlight and everything on the computer. It, it should be great. Yeah, don't worry. Um, no, nope, I promise. We will also make sure that our kindergarten through second grade students are nice and calm and quiet in the halls and everything so that our third and fourth graders can do a nice job. Well, yeah, if you can get Captain America to come and help uh, the K to two students, you know, um, be respectful, responsible and safe, that that would be fine. All right. Thanks so much, Mr. McAloon. You take care. Bye. That's going to be fun.